We're group 15 and our project is on gun safety. The target behavior we are trying to achieve is to urge parents to properly store firearms and promote gun safety in the home to decrease accidental gun deaths in children. Now we are going to describe McGuire's inputs for our project. Our primary audience our gun-owning parents and guardians. Our secondary audience are children aged 3 to 7 of gun-owning parents and guardians. So Brad the dad is a licensed gun owner, Caucasian male with Christian values. He's happily married and has one son, lives in Fisher County, Texas, where 48% of the population, 25 and older, are licensed handgun owners. His hobbies are visiting Greystone Castle Sporting Club for a vacation, which is a legal public hunting ground which is open year-round. He also likes playing sports with his son and shopping for New Balance sneakers. He's a, he's a libertarian and believes that Americans should have their right to own firearms. Sid's kid is a five-year-old young Caucasian male and he is also a curious little fellow. He's the only child and lives in a Caucasian dominant neighborhood with his parents in Fisher County, Texas. His hobbies include playing cowboys with his friends and playing Nerf guns and water guns during the summer. He also likes to watch movies with his dad, which involves a lot of gun usage. For our channels, we chose to use Facebook and YouTube. We chose to use Facebook because our primary audience is middle-aged people and according to these statistics Facebook is the platform that people in that age range use the most. Facebook also has a potential for great reach and great frequency. We chose to use YouTube for our PSA because 73% of adults use YouTube. It's a common site for people to use to watch media for all ages so it targets our primary and our secondary audience and it pops up on other platforms. For our internal source, it is our no, not an accident campaign. We are an unbiased group towards gun ownership and we only want proper gun storage for children. For our external source, our YouTube video will star Blake Shelton. He's a country singer and TV star. He's also known for using guns for hunting purposes and appeals to our primary and secondary audience. Parents will find him trustworthy and credible and children will see him as a role model and attractive. We will have a graphic visual representation of our campaign. We are envisioning a PSA video which will be displayed via YouTube to our target audience. In our video, we will have an image of children playing with a parent or guardian's unlocked, unlocked gun safe, gaining access to the weapon. The children will then begin to play with the items they perceive as toys while giggling and having a fun time. The video will then go black and gunshots will be heard, followed by silence and a message that reads, On average, eight children a day lose their lives to an improperly stored firearm. Keep your gun safe to keep your children safe. Our Facebook page will be made available to our target audience. We chose Facebook since parents are more likely to utilize Facebook as their primary social media outlet. The Facebook page includes flyers of gun safety promotion and we have the quote, don't let your child's life end from a lack of locks on the flyer in order to invoke pathos from our audience. In addition, the Facebook page will include posts on how to keep children safe from guns as well as give parents a chance to post about their own stories and testimonies, offering parents to have a support group. This is an example of what our Facebook page will look like for users. This is an example of our Facebook page with our meme, Don't Let Your Child Life End From a Lack of Locks. The YouTube video message embodies a peripheral route and heat appeal to, per to persuasion because it affects the pathos of our viewers. The imagery provided in our video highlights the innocence of children and calls for direct action for gun safety promotion. The use of our loss frame message emphasizes the cost of not performing the behavior and encourages gun owners to take proper safety precautions, especially with children in the home. The Facebook message is more centrally focused because in order for it to be effective, the receiver must be thinking about the details and have motivation to change the behavior. Our message will announce, advise, and activate. The heat aspect of the message would be the testimony's main 
by the individuals and statistics of accidental children gun deaths. The light aspect of our message would be where the receiver is advised and hopefully activated by the proper storage tips and resources. The message itself is game framed because ultimately it is saying that a properly stored gun could save a child's life. Through the emotional and graphic representation of a child in the YouTube message, viewers are encouraged to enter a stage of activation. This activation stage encourages parents and guardians to ensure firearms are properly stored through a persuasive appeal. The message highlights the consequence the unsafe behavior can cause, which promotes the, de the desired reaction to make the audience act. The contact created with the Facebook page promotes a combined use of objectives. The messages produced on the page offer announcements which direct parents and guardians to access information on proper firearm storage and direct them to where they can buy a product. The page is created as an advisory piece as well to inform on the risk factors, reinforce existing knowledge by reminding the target audience of certain issues and addressing challenges. Overall, the page purpose serves to encourage activation through the use of these materials along with the sense of shared identity through user interaction that can inspire the desired behavior change. Our first SMART Impact goal is to increase the number of families who have conversations about gun safety with their children so that children have an increase in gun safety awareness by at least 25% in the next year. Our second SMART Impact goal is to increase the number of gun owners in a city in Texas who own a gun safe and use it properly by 50% by 2020. Both of our SMART Impact goals could use an evaluation measure of pre and post tests or a telephone survey using random sampling. Our first SMART outcome goal is to reduce the number of accidental gun deaths in the home amongst children under the age of 13 in the state of Texas by 50% by 2020. For our evaluation measure for our SMART outcome goal, we would audit hospitals or look at state data on accidental gun deaths amongst children before and after our campaign to see if we were successful in decreasing their occurrence. I pledge to side with safety and promote responsible gun ownership in the home. Do you?